Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi announced he's cutting all ties with Syria's government and calling on the wider international community to impose a no-fly zone over the war-torn country. Addressing a stadium full of Muslim Brotherhood supporters, the Egyptian leader ordered the Syrian embassy in Cairo be shut down, telling his country, We have decided today to completely cut off relations with the present Syrian regime and to close its embassy in Cairo. We will also withdraw Egyptian diplomatic representatives from Damascus. But Morsi also explained Egypt will not abandon Syria until it achieves its rights and dignity. Saudi Arabia, Qatar and several other Arab nations have been aiding opposition forces in Syria's civil war for more than a year now. Egypt, while critical of President Bashar al-Assad, has been reluctant. But Morsi's call for a no-fly zone over Syria prompted Russia, a close ally of Assad's, to claim any attempt by the U.S. and its allies to do so would violate international law. The Egyptian president also condemned neighboring Lebanon's Hezbollah Shiite movement, which has been backing Assad's forces. His announcement highlights the rift between Sunni and Shiite Muslims. Assad and those within his regime are Alawites, an offshoot of Shiite Islam. Egypt is an overwhelmingly Sunni nation with many leading clerics calling for a jihad in Syria. Because they're all Shia, Syria is now the battleground for a Sunni-Shia conflict that could end up pitting one Muslim nation after another against each other across the region. Given the timing of Morsi's announcement, many labeled his desire to help the rebels disingenuous. It comes at a time of growing frustration against the president with a nationwide anti-government protest scheduled for the end of the month. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.